So we're going to be cutting some expanded metal on a JD squared 4x8 mad and we're using a Hypertherm 45 XP and uh, so we've got our THC locked out and uh, we just did a dry run so we got to take that off and these are our settings they're just typical settings for 14 gauge Hypertherm uh, apparently says that the new um, 45s will run for two seconds uh, without touching sec uh, steel so before it shuts off so we're going to run that and this will be a first we we just snipped off that but anyway um, that'll be a first and we will have a touch off with some 14 gauge right here and that's it so we'll see how this works That's awesome. Got a little spot right there that didn't get quite through. It touched off, of course. It raised up higher because I had that 14 gauge in it or underneath it for it to touch off on, so. Anyway, we'll pull that off and check it out. So the end result is a nice clean cut. And it worked out really, really well. Uh, I only had one small little spot where it kind of didn't quite make it all the way through. But once I uh, wiggled it just a little bit, it just snapped right right. Uh, and it was good but yeah that thing worked out awesome and it wasn't as big a deal as what it seemed like uh, it was gonna be I guess from everything you see on the web but this thing worked out really good and uh, I guess the the biggest pain is making sure the things flat so the torch being raised up just a little bit more using the 14 gauge um, to touch off on. It actually worked really well and um, I'm quite pleased. So anyway, hope that helps somebody. If uh, you need help with your corrugated and you got the same setup, just look back at the start of this video. It'll actually probably set you right. There's no special settings. So anyway, ciao.